fight with Clay still, of course, lingers in the memory with great contest. He may really make Clay go. Both of these characters out to get in there again with Clay. Both of them convinced they can beat Cassius Clay. when referee what Wally Tom tells them to break, they do instantly. Both great reputation of clean fighters, fine sportsmen. trying desperately hard to be first in the punch, but Patterson a too quick there. Glancing <laughs> blow, that one. And Cooper just got inside the left hook in time. Contest. A lot of people consider these two as being somewhat over the hill, but no sign of it tonight. They're both boxing as though they're absolutely in their prime. Henry Cooper did well there to recover from that look, left hook. He took a really hard one, as you saw in the closing stages of that round, and came up like a good one. But this is the danger. Both of these blokes punch desperately hard with that left hook, viciously hard. And although we think with Cooper, the dangerous split eyebrows. Well, if Patterson catches him like that again, he could go with a straight knockout on the chin because Patterson can also dig with that left hand. Floyd Patterson here had defended the title successfully when he won it from Archie Moore against Tommy Jackson, Pete Rademacher, Roy Harris, and our own Brian London, who stepped in in place of Henry Cooper way back in 1959. But of course, he lost the title to Ingo Johansson and won it back from him. Fourth round, our can Floyd Patterson follow up where he left off. Or have Jim the Bishop Wicks and Danny Holland done their stuff. For Cooper, he seems fully recovered.
Thompson, two more into the body. Uppercut. Harrison quickly coming inside now to avoid further damage. Good crisp one. Patterson leaping forward down his old style. He used to do this. Stands a bit square and suddenly leaps forward. He's confident now. He's dropped Super twice, seeking to get the third and pay off punch on that chin. Super's got a cut on his nose, the right side of his nose. No danger there. That's no worry. the battle of the left hookers and Patterson's caught Cooper a couple of times with that piece of a left hook but what a right hand and he finally dropped him with there's his brother Ray Patterson going over the corner with him Floyd Patterson this introspective character who's been seeking to convince himself as much as the rest of the world that he's been one of the truly greats in the heavyweight ranks he vowed that if he lost this one he would quit the ring Got a big offer from a toy manufacturer who worked for him. There he is, Floyd Patterson, the youngest man to win the World Championship. The only man ever to defy the old maxim. They never come back and win back the World Championship. And there's Cooper getting that blooded nose wiped now. Apparently none the worse. Patterson is the winner! was well, a, a brave battle while it lasted, Henry. How do you feel? Well, Charles, naturally, but uh, anyway, he won well. It was a right hand that finally did it. You know? Yes, yeah. Uh, did this surprise you? It surprised me because you've well, had no, a couple of good left hands. Well, he threw a combination first, so he didn't show one anyway. Well, this is characteristic, isn't yeah. it, Jim? Throwed him to the left of first. No, the end of the good whatever he done anyway. But you were um, doing well until this happened. Well, I felt like I did up to then, anyway. Did, did you feel he was punching heavier than you? Because you rocked him once or Not twice. really. It's, that was the first one that, uh, I say, once he dropped you, he done said it, but, uh, hmm. It was a good one. And it was a good um, fight, too. Well, now, what happens? You go on and defend your British title, Henry. Oh, yeah, most I wish so. You know, we've all my no dinner plan. Well, um, we're still going. Yes, uh, we're we still out to get that yeah. record from Bombardier Billy World, Jim. Yes, yes. and we want to, uh, we'll also fight in the world. Good. Well, anyway, well done, Henry. It was great while it lasted. Well, thank you. Pretty at the end of that way. Well, it's isn't it? What can you do? All well, those things, are we in the game? Thank you. Well done. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your win. What do you think about it? Right. Well, the only thing is, I'm a bit sorry that Henry cut. I had hoped that I would be able to get through this part without him cutting. However, I thought he put up a jolly well, only a cut on the nose, Floyd, wasn't it? I couldn't tell. It looked like the eye of No, it was the side of the nose. He cut him. But these were punches on the chin you caught him with. Yes. What do you think of him as a fighter? I think he's a tremendous fighter. He has a lot of heart, a lot of guts, and a lot of determination. Those kind of fighters I admire. Did he hurt you at all? Well, uh, not seriously, but he did catch me a few times that sort of stunned me, yes. Were you surprised at his speed, sir? No, I wasn't. I've seen him fight a couple other times. And anyway, it was a great contest, and it's a good win for you. What happens now? Well, I hope I'm one step toward Cassius Clay. Yeah, well, all the best. Thank you. Well, they're both dancing around now, I guess, waiting for the other one to strike. Patterson just hit him with two solid left hooks, and it looked like a right hand, but I don't think he threw the right hand, but the two hooks did the trick. I can't remember what he hit him with, but I'm waiting like you to see what it was. He'll say it. It begins with a left hook. 
know, there are some people in England, Muhammad, feel that Patterson fought the way he did in June of 1960 when he demolished Johansson at the polo. Well, he is, uh... There it is. That was a right left hand, a left lead. He pushed that left lead in. He led with the right and followed. He really did. I picked Henry Cooper to win the fight. That without you said. a doubt because of the way he fought me. He was really desperate and determined and moving fast, and I figured he would be too fast and strong for Floyd. As you can see, he's taller than Floyd, and uh, he's really a good boxer. That was the right that quickly the fans got a glimpse of and spun him over yeah. right onto his face. And that one really did the trick because Cooper didn't get up. He tried to, but he fell back down, as you will see, meaning that that was really a hard punch. And I think this really uh, helps Floyd as far as coming back is concerned because I couldn't knock out him.